Oh gosh, I waffled on a lot. I hope this isn't boring. I'm sorry, I just like to chat. Also, shout out again to Garnier Olia for making me the ginger queen of my life. Um, <laughs> I'll link the hair dye down below. Intense copper. Love it. Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I thought I would do a little chatty get ready with me. Oh, the steam from my coffee is like fogging the lens. Um, I've got myself a coffee. I'm going to do some like basic makeup today just because... We're not really doing a lot, um, but I just wanted to make myself feel a little bit better. Um, if you've not seen my last video, you will notice that my hair is a lot brighter. I dyed it. Um, I filmed a video about it. I'll link it somewhere so you can watch that. But yeah, I'm repping the bright ginger locks currently. Um, but yeah, I just thought we'll have a little chat. Um, I'll get ready. Um, I've got my coffee. I've also made some crumpets to eat. Rosie's gone down for a nap so I thought this is a perfect time to um, just check in. Check in and say hey. It's all very candid. I've not really planned what I'm going to chat to you guys about but I think it'll probably be kind of about my current life situation because I've been kind of keeping you guys up to date on that. So I'm going to have a sip of my coffee. I'm going to put my hair back. We're going to start getting ready for the day and we're going to have a little okay, chat. So let's get my hair out of my face. Oh, ta-da! Right, so I'll talk you through what I'm using on my face as well as we go. Um, I did share this on my Instagram. It is, is it going to focus? There we go. It's the Collection Prime and Ready um, BB Cream powered by Witch Hazel. Um, as you guys can see, I've got a lot of like acne scars. I get quite a lot of blemishes. My skin isn't the greatest, <laughs> unfortunately. Um, and I'm also quite pale, as you can also see. So I try not to use like a heavy foundation every day. Um, I've been trying to opt for like BB cream options. And this one, I find is a really good shade for my skin um, since I am very pale. So yeah, I've been using that. So as you can see, I am still in the flat at the moment. Um, Jack is buying me out of the mortgage, I think I briefly mentioned. I'm not gonna go into too much like personal, personal details about me and Jack, because um, as I've mentioned before, it is a two-way relationship um, and I want to respect Jack's privacy and he probably doesn't want his whole personal life blasted on the internet at this current moment in time so I'm not going to talk about our relationship but he's buying me out of the mortgage and then I'm going to be moving out of the flat. So as you guys may or may not know I work part time, I work three days a week, um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and then I am off the remainder of the week obviously and that's when I have Rosie. So Jack has Rosie um, usually on a Monday and Tuesday because I'm at work anyway and he'll have her in the evenings then. So it just makes it a bit easier for me as well when I have to like get up and go to work. Um, and he gets to spend some time with Rosie as well. So works out nicely. Um, as I was saying though, he's going to buy me out of the mortgage and then the date that my name comes off of the mortgage, I will be classed as homeless. Um, so yeah, <laughs> that's a, a big thing that's going on at the minute. So I've been speaking to like my local council because um, obviously on my wages alone, um, I wouldn't be able to keep the flat, hence why Jack is buying me out. Um, I also wouldn't be able to afford to buy somewhere by myself. Um, so there's a few options that are available to me. Um, I can obviously, in my position because I will be classed as homeless, I am on a low income and I do have a dependent, I would be eligible to apply for a council property because the money that I'm getting from Jack Buy Me Out isn't a substantial amount of money. So yes, because we'd only lived here for like a year and it was a shared ownership property. So our deposit wasn't like a massive deposit. So that's why I'm not gonna be getting like a big, big chunk of money when I leave the property. So the council, um, they're going to temporarily house me. Um, I have no idea where yet. Um, they can't tell me that until I am officially homeless. There are a few places where it might be, like locally. I'm obviously not going to tell you guys where that is. But it will probably be um, that I'll be in a room with Rosie and we will share facilities with some other, hopefully mums and babies, but other people 
that are in a similar position to myself whilst I find somewhere permanent to live. So like I was saying the options for me finding somewhere permanent I could apply for a council property um, I can privately rent and I will be entitled to some housing benefit to top up my salary to help me afford to pay my rent um, and there's also a let's rent scheme through the council um, and they basically work with landlords um, to help you get like the deposit because um, a lot of landlords don't like to rent to people on housing benefit um, so even though I would like to privately rent, I'm not just like trying to get a council house or anything, not that there's anything wrong with living in a council property. I'm easy either way, as long as I have somewhere stable for me and Rosie to live. Um, but yeah, a lot of landlords, they don't like to rent necessarily to people on like DSS housing benefit, because I suppose they see you as a higher risk of not paying your rent, um, which is a shame. So yeah, the let's rent scheme, they are landlords and they work with the council I believe I don't know all the ins and out details but um yeah I can also try and find a private landlord through that and they may be able to help me with some of my deposit because although I'm getting money from the sale I'll still need to buy furniture because I'm obviously not taking all the furniture from here because Jack will still need furniture and obviously I want him to have a comfortable home that Rosie can stay in as well so although I will be taking some bits I'm gonna have to buy like the majority of the large furniture like the sofa, a new bed, things like that. So, um, I don't think I was gonna do concealer but you know what I don't think I'm gonna bother with concealer today. I usually use the collection Lasting Perfection Concealer. My camera won't focus on it at the minute though so sorry I can't show you that up close. But at the moment it's all a bit um, up in the air because I can't really do anything until my name is off the property. So I've been talking to the council, going through the processes, um, filling out lots of paperwork and everything for my anticipated homelessness. But until I'm no longer a property owner, um, there's not a lot they can do. Like I can't put in claims for any benefits, I can't put in claims for any um, tax credits or anything like that until I'm seen as not being part of this household which is why I'm going to have to go into temporary accommodation because I can't apply for anything until I'm out of this flat um, but then I can't also move in anywhere else until I've applied for all the benefits I need to apply for so yeah it's a bit of like a catch-22 so I'm gonna have to go into temporary because I've got nowhere else I can go with Rosie of course I've got family my family will love me they're not gonna see me on the streets or anything but they just don't have the room for me and Rosie so that's that really and um, the powder I've been using as well is the collection prime and ready um, invisible setting powder I like to set the BB cream with this just because my skin does get a little bit oily um, I find that it stays on a lot better if I've just got some powder on my face and it just helps to blur everything a little bit as well. But at the minute I think it's just the whole not knowing when it's all going to happen because I'm still waiting for a date from the bank for when it's all going to be sort of completed. I don't have a completion date and I think that's what's making me more and more anxious. Obviously we're getting closer and closer to the end of the year, closer and closer to Christmas, <laughs> my birthday's next month. Um, I just kind of wanted to be settled somewhere before Christmas mainly um, but I'm feeling like that's less and less likely like the more time goes on. So. I'm trying not to get too hung up about it um yeah I'm just just trying to get through each day um and hopefully I'll get something in the post soon it's just an ongoing process bronzer this is turning into a bit of like a full face of collection makeup and this was completely unintentional I do have other things that aren't collection but my bronzer is one that I bought um a while ago I think I think I bought this last year I mean I've hit pan on it like I really like using this bronzer and um, it's the bronze glow mosaic from collection um, and yeah I use it pretty much every day now Um, just really like it mm -mm -mm. just to add a little bit of um, ooh, a little bit of bronzeness to me I will blend it out though don't worry I know it's looking a little bit like whoa <laughs> on the camera mm -mm -mm. just a little bit on my nose like that why is this bit looking so patchy 
blend it in, blend it in, blend, blend, blend. Just like pale girl problems, really. Like, I just look so pale all the time. Um, but there we go. So that's me bronze i might actually add a little bit of i got this in a glossy box um i can't remember what brand it is now but it's basically it i thought it was a um blusher but it's more of like a highlighty blusher like it does have a pink tinge but it's a bit like shiny as well Ooh, so i'm gonna put a little bit of this on So yeah, it's kind of difficult at the minute because I am, like I said, going backwards and forwards. Um, when I don't have Rosie, I'm staying not at the flat, um, so I'm sort of living out of bags. I can't start packing my stuff yet because I have no idea when I'm going to be moving out. Um, Jack has been really great during the whole thing, like we're both really civil with each other. Um, you know, we're not like arguing and bickering every time we see each other. It's not like a hostile environment, which is good. Um, especially for Rosie because I don't want Rosie to feel like her parents are just hostile towards each other that's not the kind of vibe I want her to get from us so we're just trying to keep very civil about things um, it's just a long process I know Jack obviously he wants to be able to start doing things to the flat once I move out so it's probably frustrating for him that it's taking so long um, and I want to get settled somewhere he wants me to get settled somewhere for the sake of Rosie so yeah, ongoing process, but the council have been really helpful um, so far. I obviously wasn't sure what kind of help I would be entitled to considering I was previously a homeowner, um, but because I won't be getting a substantial amount when I leave here, um, I am still entitled to some help, which is fantastic. Mm. So I'm gonna have to munch on my crumpet because I'm hungry. It is. It's 10 to 11. I'm only just eating for the first time today now because Rosie's got a bit of a cough and a cold and she's teething. Um, you guys know how it is with a baby if you've got babies. I make sure she's fed, I make sure she's dressed, I make sure she's all good and then eventually I get around to sorting myself out. So this is a cheesy crumpet by the way because cheesy crumpets are the bomb. So I just had my brows like tinted and waxed yesterday so I don't really need to do much to them I'm just going to brush them out with a spoolie so they're like going in the right direction but I love it when I've just had my brows done because it just makes getting ready so much easier and quicker so thank you Sam if you watch this my brow fairy you make me look less garish and it makes it much quicker for me to get ready in the mornings. For that, I love you. And because you make me laugh. <laughs> I think I'm just going to put a bit of mascara on. Just to like fluff up my lashes a bit. Um, my favourite, favourite, favourite is the Maybelline Last Sensation Mascara. Um, I need to get a new one of these. This one is probably a little bit too old now. Um, I did try buy another mascara. Which one was it that I bought? I bought one, I think it was, yeah, it was from Collection, the Extreme Coloured Lengthening Mascara. Um, and I just thought it was rubbish. <laughs> it just, it wasn't extreme, it wasn't lengthening, it wasn't, it wasn't anything to like shout about. So, going back to me old faithful. Look, how on earth have I just done that? How? So I have a feeling that I'll probably end up privately renting because I don't want to stay in temporary accommodation for too long and I know that trying to get a council property can take months and months and months and although I will technically be cast as homeless, um, I just still feel like it's going to take such a long time and I don't know, I'm going to see how this let's rent scheme thing goes because you can go and view the properties beforehand you don't have to just like go for the first one that you put yourself forward for um so i'm gonna see how that works providing that they accept my application the lady that i'm working with at the council she said she doesn't see why um i wouldn't be eligible um so yeah fingers crossed 
think I'm just going to leave my makeup at that. I'll probably put some lip balm on. Um, I've got this Carmex Strawberry Lip Balm. Because, um, you know, it's getting into autumn and I don't want to get dry chap lips. But I'm not going to wear lipstick today. But I'll do that once I finish eating my other crumpet and drinking my coffee. So, obviously, like, it's all new to me. I've never been through, like, this process before. I've always lived with parents or I privately rented for a bit when I lived in London and then after moving back in with my parents, moved out with Jack and bought this place. So, I've never privately rented on my own because in London it was a house share, so it was a bit different. Um, I've never had to apply for a council property before. I've never been classed as homeless before. Um, so, it's just all a lot of, like, changes, a lot of things to, like, learn. I don't know what all the processes are. Um, so, yeah, it's a bit of a stress. Not so much having to do it all, like... I would have to, like, I, I knew I was going to have to move out, that's not the issue, it's more the just like uncertainty of everything in terms of like timings, dates, locations, like I could potentially be having to move out of this place in like three weeks, but I don't know that for definite, I don't have a definite date, I don't know where I'm going to be moving to, I don't know when I'm then going to have somewhere like permanent to live, and that is what like frustrates me because I like I'm I'm the kind of person that I like to make plans I like to have set dates I like to know where I'm going and when I'm going there and who I'm going there with and I just like to have everything organized in that respect so I feel very out of control right now and I think that's what I don't really like is the like lack of control over my life um currently but I'll get there in the end. I mean, once I find somewhere to live, it'll be nice having a place for me and Rosie, like a little girl's pad. I can decorate it all nicely. Um, we can make it pink cushions and fluffy throws and it'll just be our little girl pad, like our girl spot. So I'm excited to have a place for me and Rosie to live together um, when I finally get it. And I'm happy that Jack is keeping the flat because obviously we bought this home to make a home for Rosie and it's nice that she's still going to get to have this home with her daddy. Um, obviously we picked where we lived, we liked the location, it would just be a shame to like no one be able to utilise that. So I'm glad that he's going to be able to utilise that even though I can't afford to stay here. <laughs> that's the kind of housing situation I just thought I'd chat to you all about that um still no closer to having a final home but <laughs> I thought you guys might be interested to know like what's going on at the moment um I will update you if I get like a final moving date or when I find out what's going to happen where I'm going to go I'll take you through the process with me because I know a lot of mums may be going through like a similar situation or in the future might go through a similar situation and want to know what the process is or like my experience or other mums experiences going through like a separation and having to move out and not having enough money um so yeah i just thought it'd be nice for me to kind of share it with you guys um because it might come in handy for some people i know that i'd like to hear other mums stories and know other mums experiences to know how they've sort of done it how they've dealt with it what they've gone through so hopefully this helps someone whether that be now or in the future or if you're just nosy like I am and like to know what's going on in people's lives I hope you found this video interesting as well so I'm gonna leave it here and um, this was a bit of a rambly get ready with me chat while I eat my crumpet and drink my coffee but I hope you enjoyed it please do give me a big thumbs up as always just to show your support it really helps my channel leave your comments down below as always I love to read them sometimes it does take me a little while to respond to them just because you know mum life work life 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 but i do try respond to most of them um sometimes on the more emotional videos i might not reply to every single comment just because i get a bit like mm. but please do leave your comments nonetheless hit subscribe if you're new i'd love for you to stick around hit the notification bell so you're notified when i upload new videos and i'm going to stop waffling now i'm going to leave it there and i will see you all in my next video bye guys